question. Have you ever had a hard time trusting God? Well, my friend Moses knows exactly what you feel. You see, he went to Pharaoh to ask for his people to be set free from slavery. But guess what? Pharaoh said no, over and over and over again. Well, today we're gonna explore exactly what happened in that story. Hello, Moses, my childhood buddy. Pharaoh, I am not here for a family reunion. God has sent me to tell you to let my people go. Um, no. In fact, I'm taking their straws. Now they have to make bricks without the straw. <laughs> oh man, that wasn't supposed to happen. God told me to let you know, let his people go. Well, I can't at the moment. I've been working on a new project. I call it the Rosetta Stone. You heard it here first. I tried to warn you, but now you've got blood on your hands. Uh, now I really do have blood on my hands. I told you to let them go. Poof! <laughs> there are frogs everywhere, but I still won't let the people go because the frogs are my friends. You're back again? Yes, and I will keep on coming back if you do not let my people go. Moses, they're working on the next big thing. Soon everyone will want to come and see the Sphinx. Fine, Pharaoh. Have it your way. The rice, I mean the lice, will continue tonight. Good night. Moses, you're back again? You don't have any work? You need a job. My God told me to let you know. Let my people go. Moses, that may be a good decision for them, but it is not for me. I need them to work. These pyramids won't build themselves, you know. Several plagues later. You are one determined man. Pharaoh, it is wrong to keep God's people as slaves. He has told me to let you know to let his people go. Moses, after the lice God said flies killed my cattle, gave us boils, and I still have the scars, you know. He said thunder and hail and even locusts. And just yesterday, darkness covered the land. But I don't care. Your people make me rich. Pharaoh, I did not want it to come to this. But God has told me that if you do not let my people go, he will send the worst plague ever. Pharaoh, you're back again. something else, wasn't he? Today we have many of our own plagues, but God will deliver. Proverbs 3 verse 5 says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your path. Let's pray that God helps us through all of our trials. Dear Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for all that you do for us. Please help us to trust you when things get tough like Moses did. In your name I pray, amen. Thanks for joining.